We all know how frustrating mastering can be, especially when it's time to engage final limiter. The worst thing that could happen after bringing the gain up is distortion. There are some genres where we can treat it as a creative side effect, but majority of times the cleaner the sound, the better. To save you hours of figuring out how to eliminate distortion, in this video I will show you some easy fixes and clues. First things first, we got overpowering channels. The simplest possible way to diagnose problems is to exaggerate limiter by increasing gain. By doing so, distortion will be more obvious and it will help you to pick up problematic elements. Sharp kick transients or too many low frequencies will make limiter have hard time to even them with the rest of your mix. The best initial approach here is to start with gain adjustments to see if that resolves the issue. But to not play guessing games, it's always better to check your levels with reference track. Load our plugin reference as the final plugin. But since I'm using headphone modulation system, I'm loading it before it. Use level match feature to jump back and forth between your reference and your own production. If that solved your issue, you're very lucky. But if not, there might be two or more channels fighting for the same space in your mix. To ease this tension, let's start with least offensive technique, which is utilizing sidechain ducking. You're probably familiar with using compressor to sidechain kick and bass, which leads to bass ducking whenever the kick hits. But you can also use this technique for instrument or vocal channels. If you decide the vocal is more important, set up a compressor on music channel and choose vocal as a sidechain source. Adjust threshold to trigger when vocal is present and start with 3 to 6 dB reduction. This will often be enough to remove distortion without dramatic changes in your composition. For even smoother blend, you can use dynamic EQ or plugins like Track Spacer. Aggressive EQing can also work here. If you want to keep certain vibe, chances are you don't always need the whole sound. Like in this example, I'm removing some frequencies to keep this part and adding to production without taking too much space. The last frequency conflict fix may be controversial to some of you, but hey, simplicity is the key. If you're open to changing your production, you may find that using fewer channels can make your sound cleaner. Besides of frequency and level balance, another great thing to consider is panning your instruments to declutter your mix. Keep main channels like vocals, bass or drums close to mono, and explore wider option for other channels. Your final rescue from Distorted Master is using correct limiter settings. Our plugin limiter was created to not only give you the cleanest sound possible, but also to help you choosing right amount of input gain, attack, channel link, and other crucial elements. By choosing loudness target and analyzing chorus or drop part of your production, limiter will suggest them based on your audio and sonic goals. Sometimes your input gain is simply too hot for your production. Limiter gives you a target input gain. Anywhere within that range will give you the best results. As loudness is a very subjective and controversial topic, I would say that the best way is to keep it within suggested brackets. But if you're looking for some values, those are minus 9 LUFS short term for competitive loud track without sacrificing quality, and minus six LUFS short term for very loud club tracks. Another thing to keep your eye on is attack. Longer preserves transients and can increase loudness at the cost of possible distortion. Shorter can reduce the distortion, but it will also reduce the punch of your transients. It will be also a little bit quieter. To avoid distortion at final stage, reduce ceiling until true peak reading is below zero dB. If you're aiming for digital distribution, each streaming platform has its own suggested true peak values. But luckily, Limiter 
got you covered with those. If your master sound distorted after exporting and listening on other devices, please don't lose your mind. Be aware that some consumer speakers or headphones can add hype effect to trick you that your sound is actually better. It's up to you to decide if you want to lower the overall loudness and fit to those mediums or leave it as it sounds fine or good speakers or headphones. The mastering process takes a lot of time to master. But I hope that with those suggestions, you will get closer to your desired loudness without distortion. If you want to know more about mixing, mastering and music production, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And remember, you can also try all of our plugins by signing up to free trial on our website.